yeah. Told the boys after the game, the best thing you can say after a game like this that we played really good and there's so much space for improvement. Still, that's I think that's obvious as well. Um, the goals were fantastic. The patience we showed, the fluidity in a lot of moments, not in all, but in a lot of moments. Uh, the creativity, the togetherness in, in um, how we connected with each other was really good. The goals we scored, I'm not sure, 70, 70 something probably percent possession, didn't look at it. Um, but the first goal was a counter attack, so really good. Um, that's what I do. The third goal was a counter attack as well, by the way. Uh, and the second goal was a wonderful team play. So, yeah, good, absolutely good game and question will come anyway so I can give the answer immediately game was, preparation was the, 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 the most difficult I ever had in my life um, didn't expect that was not prepared for it um, and uh, yeah and it was it, I don't want to make, want to make the game bigger than it was but it was definitely we tried to help Lucho um, with the fight we put in because obviously we want to help, we cannot really help, so the only thing we can do is fight for him and that's what the boys did. We heard last night late about it, um, then we spoke to Lucho, want to go home, send people with him, have people there who take care, there is parts of families there as well, so that's why they want to be together, absolutely understandable. Um, then we got the news with the mom, which is fantastic, um, and since then, nothing really. They, they all work and um, work on it, clearly, but it's quite some distance, and we are obviously not the first people who get informed, but we, we try um, to get knowledge of everything as much as we can, but we don't want to disturb uh, in any way. We are not the important people there. We, have, we just want to support. That's it. So you're just, just, just on up, it was a lovely moment. Diego John came over and held up a shirt of Greece and everybody joined it and remembered it. Yeah, I, I, I so how can you make a football game really important on a day like this? It's really difficult. I, I, I never struggled with that in my life. It was always my safe place, my, my, sometimes my hiding. As a player, as a coach, you are allowed during these 90 odd minutes to, to focus just on that. And it was impossible. It was absolutely impossible to do that. Um, so it was clear we have we have to give the game an extra sense and it was fighting for Lucho and then the boys pulled out the shirt and I was not 100% prepared for that to be honest, it was really touching um, but wonderful as well, so yeah, that's it. So we, we had a lot of strange games, let me say like this, where we have 10 men, fight back, um, turn it around, these kind of things. Um, controlling a game was not that often necessary. <laughs> so, uh, tune it up um, is, a, is, a, is a situation and being in actually completely dominant in a game and then um, stay in the game, keep the ball moving, stay compact, don't give them any kind of counter tags, corner kicks, and that's the moment. But you might remember it three, four years ago, I don't know exactly when, maybe longer, um, when we all of a sudden became slightly better, more dominant, and then had to had lead, were in the lead at home, were leading, and then always came under pressure, like one hill up meant nothing. Um, everybody thought, oh my God, one hill, 10 minutes to go. Uh, we were all um, halfway, saw the equalizer coming, and that's a, that's a situation you have to you have to grow into, and the boys show obviously wonderful signs in, in all aspects, in all aspects really. Um, but that's now something we have to learn as well again, because the key key positions are obviously different uh, positions by, by or occupied by different players than that time, pretty much everywhere up front, midfield, 
last line, yeah, if you want, is then Birch and Trent and more, obviously, yeah, there's a three and Ali. So four players and all the rest is around, um, is slightly different. So that's why space for improvement. Creating without taking, without losing the compactness is pretty much the, the idea behind. If you have to chase the game, it's obviously a completely different task. Um, if it's an open game, different task. But if you are really in control, why well, should not stay in control? The last five minutes, I think, before half time, all of a sudden we were a bit too deep and they just could chip the ball there. One one situation, we won the one one situation, but it was anyway a corner or a throw in, which is, by the way, pretty much the same for Nottingham. Um, and these are moments where we have to, we have to improve clear. Um, and in, in, in creative things you always can improve, that's always possible because the boys have obviously a lot of potential, so um, we have to use it um, fully. Orton, Andy, last one. Speaking of, uh, suppose like with this being involved in the goal, we get the headlines, but McAllister's performance today seems to be, obviously a lot has been said about him being in that number six role, but he seems to be getting more comfortable in there every week and his intelligence really stands out. It's obviously not really a discussion we have, otherwise we wouldn't play him there, obviously. Um, yeah, but I think today everybody could see the benefit of, a, of a, 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 a player who comes rather from the offensive side of the game than from the other side. Um, in, a, in a game where you have to create things, where you have to pass, where you have to switch sides, where and that's how it is then, because not all the ball reached the target. Eh? So, but if, if you try something in, in tight spaces, that's completely normal. I have no problem at all with um, losing balls around the box, because that's where we should be then for counter press and these kind of things. So that can happen. I'm really pleased for him. But, uh, and a lot of defensive top moments. Eh? Really killed the counter, stuff like this was really there. He's good in these things. That's why that's why we play him there. In one one situation really good. And we have to make sure as a team that the bases are really small in these moments. And we can do that with the eights, with the wingers and the and the center strike as well. And we can do that with centre halves to defend into midfield in these moments. So and then we have just a really creative player in the centre of the park together with Trent in in some moments obviously which is helpful. Very helpful.